So Wuji, you want to sit down, have your feet about shoulder width apart, roll your thighs out to the sides a little bit, roll your pelvis under, roll your elbows forward. Take deep, full breaths. Let's establish a three-stage in-breath. Expanding your belly, your solar plexus, the back of your chest. When you breathe out, let everything relax and sink down. Put the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Smile. So that as you breathe in, you smile down through your body. We're going to practice the eight brocades in the Baduan Jin. This is a Yang style Tai Chi version of the eight brocades. The value of it is that it opens up all of the regular acupuncture channels and also the eight extraordinary channels, Qi Jing Ba Mai. So in one simple sequence of eight exercises, you open all of the channels. So let's start with the first of the exercises, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, scratching your body up, breathing out. Breathe in, expand your belly. And then breathe out, sink your belly down. Breathe in, pull your lower belly muscles in a little bit. And then breathe out, relax your chest and solar plexus, let your belly expand, sink. Expand the belly and then let the belly sink down. Now pull in on the lower belly muscles, pull up on the pelvic floor muscles. And then as you breathe out, let the belly sink and expand and relax. As you breathe in, expand the belly. You're going to open up the chung mai. Now as you pull up on the pelvic floor muscles, you're going to open up the spinal energy channel, the dumai. And then as you breathe out, feel the passageway that runs straight down the front midline of your body. So chong mai, with the first in-breath and out-breath. And then dumai up your spine. And then ren mai down the front midline of your body. So the chong mai is a tube of energy that runs up the middle of your body. Expand your belly and then sink your belly down through your pelvis. And then pulling up on your pelvic floor muscles, pull in on your stomach muscles, the dumai, channel up the spine, bring your chi over the head down the front midline of the body, the rim line. Don't bring your hands above your solar plexus before you turn them over in the first breath. Touch your thumbs together, point your thumbs in towards your spine as the hands come up. And then push the base of the palms as you breathe out. So Chung Mai, you want to feel that tube of energy running through your body. Turn your hands over before they reach the chest. Push the chi to the base of the pelvis. Now pulling up on the pelvic floor muscles. 
separate the vertebrae of the spine from each other and then bring the chi down the front midline and at the same time push it out to the base of the palms. Breathing in the Chiang Mai, relaxing, sinking the belly, and pulling up and in on the muscles, just about 60% of your capacity. Do not pull on your muscles too strongly. And breathing out, stretching the base of the palm. Deep, full in breath. Lift the vertebrae up. And as you breathe out, feel also this oval of energy around you that your hands are describing. This oval of energy, this surrounding protective, luminous egg shape of energy around you, we also call the daimai. Opening the chong from the first breath, and then the du channel up the spine, and then the renmai down the front midline of the body, letting your belly expand as you sit down, and at the same time, describing with your hands this luminous egg shape around you. In this way, with this first qigong, we open up the four primary acupuncture channels of the body, which is the chong mai, the du mai, the ren mai, and this luminous oval around you, which we call the dai mai. Breathe in, feel the tube of energy through the middle of your body. Let it sink down, let your belly sink and press down through your pelvis. Feel the dew channel as you breathe in and pull up on the muscles. Feel the ren mai running down the front of your body and let the belly expand and sink. And then feel the dai mai, this oval of energy around you. This oval of energy around you. Extends under the ground, extends above your head, extends out either side of you. All right, standing in Uji. Standing in Wuji. So relax, feel your body. Deep, full breaths. Feel your head floating above your chest. Feel your head and your chest floating above your belly. Feel those three energy centers, your head, your chest, and your belly. Take deep, full breaths and let yourself feel, first let's feel the chung mai, feel this tube of energy that runs right through the middle of your body, that runs right up your body from the base of your pelvis, through the, to the top of your head. Let's become aware of it. And then as you breathe in, feel the chi up your spine, slightly elongating your spine so that you lift up the vertebrae one up off the one below. As you breathe out, feeling the renmai, the passage of energy that 
flows like a waterfall. It cascades down the front of your body. So we're going to go into this Qigong. This Qigong is to work with the circle of energy that moves up your spine and then down the front midline of your body. This circling of energy is known as Xiao Zhou Tian, or the, the smaller heavenly circulation. Keep the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Let your whole body stretch up as you breathe in. Let your whole body sit down as you breathe out. Feeling the energy coming up your spine like a fountain of energy pouring upwards. Feeling the energy pouring down the front midline of your body like a waterfall cascading down. Slightly pull up on your pelvic floor muscles, pull in on your lower stomach muscles as you breathe in. Relax your belly, let it sink and expand as you breathe out. Now opening your hands, extending the circle of energy down from your hands down to your feet and then from your feet up through your body. Now feeling this larger circulation, Da Zhou Tian, it's called the greater circulation of the heavenly energy. We are gonna move the energy from under the ground, up through your feet, up your spine, and out through your hands and down the front midline of your body. A big circle. Let your arms extend out in front of you, up above you, out in front of you, and then let your hands energetically reach down to your feet. Let's slow the circling down a little bit. As you breathe out, allow yourself to feel the pressing down energy from above you. As you breathe in, requesting the earth energy to come up through your body, to flow up to your fingertips, the top of your head, and then requesting the heavenly energy to press down through your whole body. The Dew channel, as you breathe in, the Ren channel down the front as you breathe out. Now standing a little bit wider, we're going to work with the, the Chung Mai, that tube of energy right up the middle of your body, and the Dai Mai, that belt channel. When we call the Dai Mai a belt, it's because you've got this luminous egg around you, and the widest portion of this luminous egg is around your waist, right? So we're going to work with um, these two. So breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in, pulling the energy into this tube of energy in the middle of your body. Breathing out, extending it out to this luminous oval around you. Your hands extending out into the widest part of it.
as you breathe in, sub-vocalize the sound, hoo. And as you breathe out, sub-vocalize the sound, ha. As you breathe in, expand your belly. And as you breathe out, expand your belly more. So you feel the energy from your belly pressing out through your hands. Good. Standing Wuji again. <coughs> so you can get your head to float above your chest, your head and chest to float above your belly. Let yourself sit down a little bit. Roll the thighs out. Roll the pelvis under. Sink the shoulders. Roll the elbows forwards. Open the armpits. Feel your breath moving in a continuum from under the ground, through your body, above your head, and then as you breathe out, rolling down the front of your body. We're going to go through the eight brocades uh, Qigong exercises uh, working with the five elements. We're going to start with fire. Breathing out. And then breathing in. Breathing out. So breathe in as your hands come to the midline. Breathe out as your hands go out to the side. Breathing in. Let your body lift up vertically, and breathing out, let your body extend out horizontally. Breathing in, pause for a second. Feel the, a pink energy filling up your body, and then breathing out, a red energy extending from your belly through your hands. <coughs> feeling compassion and love, and then breathing out as you extend out to the side. Pink energy, compassion and love as you breathe in. The red energy, enthusiasm, vitality as you breathe out. Pink energy, lift your body up vertically. Red energy, extend your body out horizontally. As you pivot to the side, pivot on the heel of your leading foot followed by the ball of your following foot. And then pivot your feet back to the middle. Pivoting on the heel of the leading foot, the ball of the following foot. And then just pivot back to the middle. Roll the lower hand in so you compress heart and small intestine channels. Roll the lower hand up and up so that you open the heart and small intestine channels. So you're rhythmically opening and closing the energy channels from your little finger to the armpit as you close it, and then from your little finger to the shoulder blade as you open it. You're also working with the energy channels to your ring finger to your middle finger. 
as you breathe out, sending a line of red energy from your belly out through Lao Gong, the energy center between your second and third finger on the palm of your hand. In this way, we're opening up the four acupuncture channels having to do with fire. Deep, full in-breath. Pink energy filling your body, feelings of love and compassion. Breathing out, red energy. Vitality, energy, and enthusiasm. Breathing in, pink energy. Lift your chest, lift the cheekbones of your face. Breathing out, red energy. A line of energy extending from your belly out through your hands. Come into Wuji, stand in Wuji. So bring your feet a little bit closer in, just about shoulder width apart. Sit down a little bit, roll the elbows forward, lift the chin down, lift the back of the head up. Tune your body into the energy of fire. Imagine and feel that you can connect to the fire and warmth energy under the ground. Pull in on your lower belly muscles, pull up on your pelvic floor muscles. And feel the fire and warmth energy of Guan Yuan, the energy center the lower portion of your belly. Now pull in your upper belly muscles. And when you pull in on these muscles, just do it a little bit, just 50, 60% of your capacity. Don't pull too forcefully. Pulling in on your upper belly muscles, feel the fire of your digestion. Feel the pulse of your heartbeat in your hands. Bring your hands up into this position. And feel for the pulse of the heartbeat in your palms, in your fingertips. Smile down into your heart. Bringing your hands up above your head. Shut your eyes, roll your eyeballs upwards. Tune into the light that gathers in your forehead, the Shen Ming, the clear light of your consciousness. This is the light behind your seeing, the light behind your perceiving, the light of your consciousness. To yourself. Imagine it and feel it, glimpse it. Bring your hands down again. Again, pull in on the lower belly muscles and feel the fiery energy of your sexual energy center and the fiery and warmth energy of your lower dantian. Pulling in on your lower belly muscles, feel the warmth that warms up your body warms up your chi. Pulling in on your upper stomach muscles, feel the warmth of your digestion. Breathe in, expand your chest, feeling compassion and love, pink energy, feeling the heart beating your fingertips, feeling this fire energy that transmutes into the warmth of love. 
tuning into the light energy in your forehead, behind your eyes, the light of your consciousness. Very good. Now we're going to work with water energy. So, breathing in, palms up. Breathing out, turn your palms over, and turn your head to the right. Sink the chi down through your left heel. And breathing in, draw the chi in through your left heel. And then breathing out, sink the chi down through your left heel. Now turning both palms up. Blue water energy rapidly filling your body from under the ground. Turn your palms down, turn your head to the left. Sink the chi down through your right heel. Breathing in through the right heel, blue water energy rapidly fills your body. It moves from your heels all the way up to the back of your head, to the wrists. Breathing out, turning your head slowly back to the front. Sink the chi down through the right heel. Turn both palms up. Breathe blue water energy from under the ground through both heels. Imagine your body is hollow. It rapidly fills up with blue water energy. Turning your head to the right, sinking the chi down through the left heel. And then breathing in through the left heel. Your body rapidly filling with blue water energy. And then breathing out. Sink it down. Both heels. Requesting the blue water energy from under the ground to respond to you, to fill up your body. Imagining feeling your body as hollow and it can just fill up with this blue water energy. Feeling your body filling with the blue water that brings calmness, purification, and cleansing, letting your mind merge with this blue water energy that moves and fills your body rapidly from your heels to the back of your head to the wrists, fills every part of your body. Breathing in, both palms up, water pouring into your body through both heels. As you turn your head, to the left, you're going to sink the water chi down through the heel opposite the way your head is turned, the right heel, and then bring it in through that heel. And then as you turn your head back to the front, you're going to sink it down through that heel. So you're always going to move the water chi through the heel that is opposite the way your head is turned. And when you begin, you're going to bring it through both heels, palms up. Turning, sink it down through the left heel as you turn your head to the right. Bring it in through the left heel. And then sink it down again through the left heel as you turn your head to the front. Both heels, palms up. Sink the water chi down. Now fingers trailing, elbows rolling upwards. Bringing it up through the right heel and then down through the right heel as you turn your head slowly back to the front. Now feel that place between your Achilles tendon and your inner ankle. Achilles tendon and your outer ankle. These are the pathways we're going to open in order to access the kidney and the bladder energy channels. So as you breathe in, bring the chi from the inner ankle right up to the inside of your collarbones, kidney channel. And as you breathe out, just let this blue water energy sink back down. And now opening the out, outer ankle on the foot opposite the way your head is turned, bring the chi up over the back of your head to your eyes, and then as you breathe out, bring the chi down. So kidney channel, inner ankles, to underneath the collarbone, 
and then breathing out, let that chi just sink down. And now, outer left ankle, bladder channel, up your back, over the back of your head to your eyes, and then breathing out, just let that chi sink down again, that blue water energy. Kidney channel, inner ankles, whole body fills up with blue water energy, and then let it sink down. And now bladder channel, outer ankle, with the right foot, so the head is turned to the left, to the back of the head, to the eyes, and then breathing out, let that chi just sink down. Requesting blue water energy to quickly respond to you. To fill up your body. Your body is hollow on the inside. Standing in Uji. work with this intermediate qigong just to work with the kidney qi breathing in let the weight of your body come forwards and breathing out push your weight back and push your hands forward breathing in your weight comes forward your hands come back your elbows come back breathing out your weight goes back your hands come forward and you push back into the new moment Breathing in, weight forward into the belly. Breathing out, weight back. So the weight shifts back towards your heels and you push back with that portion of your spine opposite your belly. We call that the area of your spine, the Ming Men. Breathing in, pulling your elbows back. I want you to tune into your kidneys. Your kidneys are at the level of your back it becomes stretched a little bit as you pull your elbows back, level of your lower back, just at the level of your elbows. Feeling the blue water energy penetrating your kidneys and then breathing out, let that blue water energy flow through into your belly. Deep, full breaths. As you breathe out, sub-vocalize the sound. Feeling your kidneys stretching. And then as you breathe out, push your kidneys back and your hands forward. Feeling the blue water energy gathering underneath your palms and then pressing down towards your belly. Stand in Muji again. Feeling your body is hollow. Filling up with blue water energy. Just imagine and feel the, the water that's under the ground springs of water under the ground and bubble up through the earth, bubble up to the soles of your feet and start to fill the flesh of your body so that your whole body fills up with this blue water energy. the peaceful mind that is created as you allow water energy to fill your body. Good. Now 
we're going to work with earth energy, yellow, golden earth energy. So reaching down, draw the chi up. Breathing out, sink it down. Breathing in. Right hand up, left hand down, and then breathing out. Sink the chi down. So reach down towards the earth as if your fingers could penetrate the earth. Requesting the earth chi to quickly respond to you. Filling your body with golden yellow energy, breathing out, let it sink into your belly, let your belly expand. And then breathing in, left hand up, right hand down, open the whole side of your body, stretch your arms and legs. Now imagine a ball of sunlight comes into your upraised hand, and as you breathe out, allow this ball of sunlight to penetrate through the whole side of your body that corresponds to your descending hand. Again, earth energy, yellow, golden earth energy comes up inside of your legs to the outside of your ribs and then breathing out let it sink into the belly expand the belly point the thumbs into the navel and then breathing in the whole side of your body opens up stretch your arms and legs the ball of sunlight comes down the thumb is going to trace the pathway through the eye the side of the mouth the breast the side of the stomach all the way down lateral anterior line of your thigh to your first three toes. As you breathe in, you're going to trace the pathway from the inside of your foot to the outside of your ribs. That's your spleen channel. Down to your navel. Thumbs point into the navel. Opening the whole side of the body. As the hand descends, a ball of sunlight comes through your body and your thumb traces the pathway of the stomach channel down the front of your body to the first three toes. In this way we open the earth channels of the body. The ball of sunlight descends the inside of the side of your body, corresponding to the descending hand, illuminating all the organs Requesting the earth chi to respond to you, to come up into your body. Filling your body with millions of little particles of gold and yellow energy. Imagine and feel all the flesh of your body, all the muscles and the flesh of your body, filling up with gold and yellow energy. And then the sunlight energy pouring down, illuminating everything. Spleen channel coming up to spleen 21 and then sinking down to the navel. Yellow golden energy coming up the inside of the side of your body. A ball of sunlight coming from above. Thumb tracing the pathway of the stomach channel down the front side of your body. Requesting the golden yellow earth energy to fill up your body. Let your body be hollow and let it be filled up with golden yellow energy. Breathing in as your hands come up. Breathing out, sink the chi into your belly, let your belly expand. Breathing in as your hand comes up again. And breathing out as the hand descends. Requesting the earth energy, allowing your body to be filled with golden yellow earth energy.
and sink the chi to the belly. Stand in Wuji. Extend your hands out to the side a little bit. Rest your body. Hold the structure and the position. Surrender to gravity. Say yes to the force of gravity, lining up your head so it's balanced over your chest. Your head and your chest so that they're balanced over your belly. Deep, full breaths. Let your hands sway just a little bit. Becoming aware that you're moving your hands through something. You're moving your hands through the chi field of the earth. You're standing in, breathing in, and moving in an energy field that emanates out of the earth. Turn your palms to face each other. Breathing in, move them slightly apart. Breathing out, sit down a little bit and move them together. Breathing in, move them apart. Relax your body in gravity. Just say yes to the force of gravity. Open your body. Relax it internally so that as you breathe in, the earth energy pours up through your body, moves through your belly, moves through the space between your hands, relaxing your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, letting your hands be open and relaxed so that you can feel the energy movement that's occurring between your arms, letting your body very gently expand as you breathe in, and compress as you breathe out. This natural pulsation occurs in every cell of your body, and it's the cell matrix of your body that corresponds to the earth energy. Letting every cell of your body be filled up with the energy from under the ground that flows up through you. We're going to work with the green force. In the five element system, this is represented as a tree, although it's often translated inaccurately as wood. It's the green force, the forest force. So transfer your weight to the side, turn your waist, turn your hips, look to your back hand, breathe in deeply, and then as you breathe out, let one hand glide over the other and sink your weight down. Breathing in deeply, requesting the energy of the green force to quickly respond to you, to come into your body. Breathing in the healing energies of all the trees and the plants, all the forests and the meadows and gardens around here. Breathing in that green force. As you transfer your weight and you turn behind you, sink the shoulders, stretch underneath the armpit, turn the head so that you stretch the side of the neck and the side of the head. As you turn to the side, roll the thigh of the empty leg back so that the knee of the leg that is not bearing weight is actually rotating back. What this does is it keeps your pelvic floor open and it stretches your hips 
and your pelvic floor. In this way, as we practice this very simple qigong, we stretch open all the areas of the body that are transected by the green energy channels, the energy channels of the liver and the gallbladder. We open up these areas which are very prone to stagnation of energy. Breathing in deeply, requesting the intelligences, the beings of the green force that might have compassion on you, quickly respond to come into your body. The green force adheres to the tendons and the ligaments, to the fascia, around the joints. Deep, full breaths. Now as you turn to the side, feel the opposite big toe. You grip with it a little bit, and this way you open up your liver acupuncture channel. You'll take the knee of that empty leg out away from your body a little bit so that you stretch open the inner thigh of your liver channel up through your groin and then twisting turning your hips your waist and twisting your rib cage you're going to twist the liver channel from the big toe all the way to the opposite lower rib cage this way you stretch open your liver channel as you practice this qigong Similarly with the gallbladder channel, the gallbladder channel transects the side of the body. So turning through the hip, the waist, the side of the ribs, the armpit, the side of the neck and the side of the head, you're going to stretch open the gallbladder channel. Let the hand come to the side of the eye and then glide down. And as it glides down, you're going to press that green energy down through your body, back down to your belly. Taking all that energy from the side of your body and just sinking it down. Gliding one hand over the other hand so that you soothe and smooth out the liver chi. Standing in Wuji. Let's bring the hands up like this. Extend the fingers out. Just imagine, pretend that you're a tree. Feel down under your feet the roots of your energy. Literally, your chi body extends lines or channels of energy down into the ground which are just like the roots of a tree. Feel those roots of energy going down through the floor into the earth. Requesting that green force to come up through your body, your legs and your spine, <clears throat> like the trunk of a tree. And then underneath your shoulder blades, it's like the limbs of a tree going down your arms. It's like the branches out through your fingers, like the twigs. And breathing in deeply, I want you to imagine and feel that all around you, spreading around you, is a canopy of green leaves that spreads around your body, above your body, extends out up and around you. And maybe in this canopy of green leaves, there are some flowers that open to the sunlight. Feeling again the roots of your energy all the way up through your body. Letting your body 
but in your chi body. Connect to the force, the green force of the trees and plants. Good. Now we're going to work with the, the two forces of air and metal, which are, in a sense, like two, the same note in two different octaves. So breathing in, three-stage in-breath, and then breathing out. Breathing in, white sparkling energy coming into your body, and then breathing <coughs> out, sink it down. Breathing in, expand your belly, your solar plexus, your chest, and then breathing out, sink the chi down. White sparkling energy coming into your skin. Drawing white sparkling energy from the air, <clears throat> from the sky, from the clouds, into your body, opening all the little pores of your skin to absorb this white sparkling energy and these white sparkling particles. Breathe in in three stages. Expand your belly, then your solar plexus, then the back of your chest. Now breathe out down the lung channel from your collarbone, through the tip of the thumb and the index finger, and open the hand, breathing up the large intestine channel, the fingers penetrating the sinus cavities, and then breathing out, sink the chi down to your large intestine, pointing your thumbs in to the side of your belly. So three stage in breath, and breathing from collarbone, through the tip of your thumb and your index finger, and then open the hand, open the tiger's mouth, the large intestine four point, Bring the chi up to the sinus cavities, your fingers penetrating energetically the sinus cavities and your thumbs penetrating down to your large intestine. Lung channel. And then open the hand, large intestine channel, thumb and index finger, breathing up to sinus cavities. Breathing out, sink the chi down into your belly. Pivot on the heel of the leading foot, followed by the ball of the following foot. And then pivot back so your feet are approximately parallel. Sink the chi down. Touch your index finger and your middle finger together. Hold your thumb on the little finger and the ring finger when you extend out to the side. So your leading hand forms a sword hand, your following hand forms a single whip dandian hand. So leading hand, index finger, middle finger touching, thumb holds, ring finger and little finger. Following hand, all the fingers touch the thumb. Keep your hands on the same horizontal plane. Expand your belly, your solar plexus, the back of your chest, filling up your body with white sparkling energy. Good, standing Wuji. Lift the fingers, push the base of the palm down, sink the shoulders. Tune your mind into the seams of rock, the crystals, the metals, deep under the ground. Start to imagine and feel that you can breathe the energy from these underground rocks and crystals 
up towards your body. And breathe that energy up into your heels, up through your spine, the back of your head, to the base of your palms, absorbing the energy of crystal and rock and metal into your body, absorbing that fluid energy, the energy of those things which flows, translucent, iridescent, sparkling energy. Let it fill up your body. Now bring your feet together. Bring your hands up above your head. Touch your middle fingers together, breathing in. Bring your hands down to your forehead. Hold your breath in. Imagining a star of light has come down into your forehead. Now holding your breath in, sink your hands down. Imagining a trail of starlight running down the front midline of your body. Turn your hands over and breathe out. Hold this position, deep in breath. Tuning into a star of light above you. Feel that star of light coming down to your forehead and feel a trail of starlight coming down the front midline of your body, the Renmai, all the way down to Guan Yuan, the base of your belly, and then breathe out. Now again, reaching up above your head, star of light coming down, connection to a higher self, hold your breath in, Imagine a trail of starlight descending the front midline as you hold your breath in. Turn your hands over, expand your belly, press the chi down to Guan Yu and breathe out. Hold this position. Deep in breath, recreate the same energetic pattern. Star of light coming down into your yin tang point between your eyebrows and descending through the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, descending the front midline, a trail of starlight, descending down into Guan Yuan, relax and sink your belly and breathe out. And again, reaching up, breathing in. Star coming down into your forehead, hold your breath in. Trail of starlight descending the front midline. Turn the hands over, expand and sink the belly, breathe out. Hold this position, recreate the pattern one more time. Star of light coming down. Feel the radiance of light. Feel the trail of starlight descending the front midline. To your belly and breathe out. All right, good. So standing wider, <clears throat> breathing in, you're going to bring your hands from outside upwards to above your head, and then turn the hands over and breathe out, extending the chi down again. Breathing in, we're opening up the yin cha, one of the chi jing ba mai, the eight extraordinary channels, and breathing out, we're opening up the yang wei. So the yin xiao is the sum of all the energies that flow upwards and inwards in your body. It's a feminine energy coming up to a moonlight energy above your head. And the yang wei is the sum of all the energies that move downwards and outwards. And it's like extending a cloak of energy down and out around you to the surface of the earth. Yin xiao breathing in, moonlight, a feminine energy. And then from the back of your head, the back of your shoulders, extending down and out around you, extending down your arms, down your legs to the surface of the earth, the young way. Breathing in, subvocalizing chi, and breathing out, subvocalizing hui. Touching your hands in a triangle at the top, and then breathing out, hui. Moonlight 
energy coming through your body, feminine goddess, moonlight energy, and then breathing out a little masculine consciousness, spreading down and out around you, protecting you. Filling your body with soft moonlight yin energy. And then as you breathe out, surrounding your body with protective folds and layers of energy. Chi as you breathe in. Hui as you breathe out. All right, good. I'll bring the hands in. We're now going to reverse that energetic pattern. So breathing in, you're going to come up and out. Point your ten fingers up towards the sky. And then breathing out, you're going to come down and in. Turn your hands over and point them down, forming a taproot into the earth. Breathing in. Yang Xiao. Upwards and outwards. A masculine energy. And breathing out, Yin Wei. Downwards and inwards. A feminine energy. Breathing in, Yang Chao. Should fill your body with blue and gold and sunlight and sky. And then breathing out down and in the Yin Wei. Everything relaxing and releasing out of you, sending a taproot into the earth. Breathing in, opening to ten channels of energy that open through your neck, through the top of your head, and through your fingertips, connect to heaven. And breathing out the yin way, everything is dissolved and released down into the earth. Breathing in gold, blue, expanded sky energy. And then breathing out, let everything go into the void, into quietness, into stillness, into releasing. As you breathe in, sub-vocalize the sound, and as you breathe out. Feeling ten rays of energy extending up to heaven, and as you breathe out, sinking a taproot of energy deep into the earth. Uji, relax your body, shake your body a little bit. Just to close the session, we're going to do pulling down the heavens. Just harmonize your energy fields, be very relaxed. Just imagining and feeling that you're soothing all the energy fields inside your body and around your body. So with this version of the Ba Duan Jin, the Eight Brocades, you've worked with each of the 12 bilateral acupuncture channels corresponding to the organ systems, Chinese medicine. And you've worked, worked with the Qi Jing Ba Mai, the eight extraordinary channels, working consciously with each of those channel systems. Your whole body and the energy systems of your body has been worked at a pretty deep level. So you want to just soothe everything out and relax. your body down. Now bring your feet a little closer together. 
I want you to tighten the leg muscles. Breathe in, tighten your arm muscles. Pull your fists back a little bit. Come up on your heels a little bit. Drop your chin down. And breathe out. Just drop your weight down. Don't come up too high. Don't do this too forcefully. Tighten your leg muscles, your arm muscles. Imagine yourself sucking the chi into your bones and into your bone marrow. And breathe out. Let the hands come forward. And then also tighten your pelvic muscles, belly, solar plexus, chest, neck, and head muscles. Imagine yourself pulling the chi into the midline of your body, sucking the chi into your bones, into your bone marrow, into the very center of your body. When you drop down, don't come up too high, don't drop down too forcefully, and keep your chin forward a little bit as you drop down so that you don't send a shockwave into your brain. Good. Okay, you should be ready to go operate heavy machinery. <laughs> Thanks.